Hi folks, Matt Easton here, Scholar Gladiatore. So as is uh, probably evident to everyone watching my channel now, I've been doing quite a few videos about the 1908 pattern cavalry sword and I want to keep this video short because I don't want to overwhelm you with uh, turning my channel into a channel purely about the 1908 pattern. Uh, but it's simply that when you make one video, often questions come up that um, kind of inspire another video. So keeping this very brief, a lot of people have said if this is a dedicated thruster and it's really only good in the charge, why don't you just carry a lance? And it's a very good question. And lancers did exist in uh, World War One, and they were quite important. Um, pretty much every nation used lancers, or every every nation at least on the Western Front used lancers in World War One. But why carry this rather than the lance? Well, for most cavalry regiments, certainly in the British Army, the answer is very simple. This can be worn on your horse. A lance cannot. You might say, ah, oh, but, you know, if you're charging at people, then why are you worried about wearing it on your horse? Well, the very simple fact is, by World War I, um, at least British cavalry had realised, thanks to the Boer War, that just charging around on horseback and trying to charge the enemy the whole time was not a terribly sensible idea in most confrontations where the enemy have bolt-action, magazine-fed rifles, machine guns, and other such things. Um, now, that's not to say that cavalry charges didn't happen and weren't useful. Sometimes, of course, they were. In fact, overwhelming something like a, a, a gun emplacement, you know, a artillery uh, formation, or in, indeed the enemy baggage train, was a very useful thing to do um, in World War One, and that's when swords and lances were used. However, the main use, at least in the British Army, of cavalry, apart from scouting, was as highly mobile infantry. They had rifles. And one of the things that made British cavalry in World War I different from, say, for example, French and German um, cavalry was the French and Germans still used carbines for the most part. And carbines are fairly short range, whereas the British cavalry, due to their experience in South Africa in the Boer War, had switched to using full-length rifles, Lienfield rifles. So they had much longer range and they were um, forced to train at marksmanship as much as their cavalry training, as much as their mounted training. Um, so very simply, British cavalry could ride somewhere very quickly, dismount, get down onto the ground, fire as infantry, and then once they'd done their job suppressing fire or do whatever, they could hop back on their horses and shoot off somewhere else. So they're essentially dragoons, uh, like dragoons, the original purpose of dragoons in the 18th century, and, and 17th century in fact. Um, so there we go. Quite simply, the reason why most British cavalry had this and not a lance, and bearing in mind that lances also had this for a backup, because sometimes you might lose your lance, um, but the reason why they had swords was because a sword can hang on the saddle of your horse. You don't wear it in this case. It's um, clipped onto the saddle of the horse. So if you want to perform as traditional cavalry to charge some baggage train or fleeing enemy or whatever, you can do with the sword. And an important uh, note to make, the very first kill um, of a British soldier, so the first score of a British soldier in World War I, in this case it was a German killing a German soldier, was with this, it was with the 1908 pattern sword, um, and very soon after the first shots were fired. But in fact, the first confirmed kill of World War I by a British soldier was with a 1908 pattern sword. And um, so, yes, it was there if you needed it, but primarily you were hopping on and off your horse to um, operate your rifle and act as highly mobile infantry. And one final thing to mention British cavalry horses actually carried. Um, entrenching tools, apparently, I found out today, um, and I'm going to post below here a link to a Wikipedia article. Yes, I know it's Wikipedia and some people go, that's not proper history, but this is a really well written and seems to be very well cited and sourced uh, Wikipedia article on British cavalry in World War One. It's well worth reading if you're at all interested. There we go, folks. Cheers. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, follow us on Facebook, you can buy t-shirts through Spreadshirt, support us on Patreon or follow us on Pinterest. Thank you.